Hey soul fam, what's up you guys? It's Mediterranean Goddess 1111 and I'm here chilling with Marilyn Monroe. You know what I'm saying? She's one of the main um, energies that I feel. I think she's very empower, empower, empowering and I think she's very sexy and I think she's an amazing trendsetter on self-love and self-acceptance. And so I do, I love her. And I always, Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston, those two energies come through a lot as well because Michael Jackson, um, he was all about accepting who you are and bringing that light to the world. And Whitney, um, all about embracing the bountiful beauty that you are and radiating that to the world. And I don't even know why I'm talking about this, but that's not even why I came on this video. I came on this video because um, as you guys know, I am of Greek heritage. I don't speak Greek, um, but my family is from Athens. Um, I'm American, uh, but I love my Greek roots and I just think that it is, um, I love actually a lot of ancient roots. So like Egypt and Atlantis and Greece, right? And Rome. Um, I resonate a lot with all those places because, um, in Lemuria, right? Even, um, galactic places like, right? Sirius and the Pladents and stuff. But um, when it comes to ancestral, um, I think it's important that we connect with these root races, right? With these races that had a lot of knowledge and intelligence from the creator. Um, and I just wanted to talk really quick about I don't know if you guys ever heard of, I know you guys probably know who Hades is, right? Hades is the god of the underworld. He's the Greek god of the underworld. Um, Persephone, Persephone was his wife and she is the daughter of uh, Zeus and Demeter and Demeter, she is the goddess of spring, right? She's the one who brings forth um, flowers and nature um to help it grow and um so Perse persephone is basically like aurora like goddess aurora the roman goddess also so in greek she could be persephone or she could be called eos eos and she is in charge of the dawn you know and so she spends six months in the underworld with Hades, and then she spends six months um, with her, with Demeter, with her mother, um, helping the seasons change, helping the flowers break forth because she is the dawn. The dawn marks the end of the night. And so what I'm telling all this to you guys for is because Source wanted me to tell you that you guys are the Eos to your community. You're the Eos to your family. And no one could bring Dawn on a dark situation like you. Um, you are that great alchemist and I love you very much. Peace. Talk to y'all soon.